Welcome to Frame Ready. This short video will demonstrate how to customize your value list and frame components on the work order section of your Frame Ready program. From the main menu, navigate to the work order file. To edit a value list, click on the list and click Edit at the bottom. To add employees to the list, simply type in the name followed by a carriage return. Continue this until all your employees are entered in the list. Value lists are not automatically sorted, and they appear in whatever order you enter the values. When you enter the last employee, do not enter a carriage return. The last employee in the list should simply be followed by a dash. Click OK when you're finished. Now when you click in the Order Taken By field, you'll see your customized list. The dash in the custom list appears as a line that separate the names from Edit and Other. You can also modify the Designed By, Art Type, Condition, Location, Map Margins, White Space, Reveals, and the Other field. There are also customizable lists in the Framing Materials section of the Work Order screen. These fields all represent groups in the Price Codes file. You will notice that there are buttons on the left-hand side that represent all of the framing component groups from the Work Order. Click the Fitting button. This will select all of the items in the Fitting group. If you click on the List View button, you can see the entire list. Click on Labor Half Hour. In order to change the retail price for this item, click on the Fitting Pricing tab. The retail price is currently set at $25. Click in the large yellow formula box and change the $25 to $30. By using the set price field rather than the price per united inch, we're making the labor half hour item always equal $30 regardless of the size of the frame job. Now when we select labor half hour from the work order fitting field, the retail price will be $30. To enter new items to any of these lists, click on the New button in the top right corner of the Price Codes file. You now need to select a group for your new item. All of the buttons on the left are for molding and map board items, where the buttons on the right are for the different groups that appear as pop-up lists on the work order. Let's select Mounting. Whatever you enter as the item number is how the item appears alphabetically in the pop-up list on the work order, so you should really enter a brief description in the item number field. Try to avoid using any symbols in this field, like at or equals, especially avoid quotation marks. If you have an order number, you can enter it in the manufacturer number field. In the item field, Let's type in Dry Mount on Foam Core. Select In House as the supplier. Enter your wholesale cost into the blue cost field. And select the dimensions in the dimension field. If you leave the dimensions blank, Frame Ready will treat it as being a 32 by 40. By entering a cost of 10, and the dimensions of 32 by 40, we're telling Frame Ready that our wholesale cost is $10 for a 32 by 40. This information is used to calculate our cost of goods. Click on the Mounting Pricing tab. Click in the large yellow formula box under Markup and enter 3 for a 3 times markup. Now, if we return to the work order file,
we can see our new item of dry mount on foam core in the mounting pop-up list. This concludes this clip. Please return to our website to view more clips on the many functions and features of the Frame Ready program. Thanks for watching.